Welcome to Support Center Plus video tutorial. This video shows how support services can be delivered at right time using service level agreement. Service level agreement is an agreement between the service provider and the customer. This agreement defines the service contents that will be offered to the customer within the specified timeline. The SLA can be used as a tool to measure the efficiency effectiveness of the service delivery and also used as a tool for continuous improvement of the services offered to the customer. Let's see how to create a SLA in Support Center Plus. Click on the Admin tab and select Service Level Agreement. Let's add a new SLA, and we'll give a name say SLA for High Priority. Then select the support plan for this SLA. The support plan determines the type of support offered to the customer and it can be configured under the admin tab. Based on this support plan, contract can be defined. Now let's select the criteria and set the rules for the SLA. Then set the response time and resolution time within which the support rep should respond and resolve the requests matching the above set rules. The resolution time is set based on the operational hours and holidays of your organization. You are also provided with an option to override the operational hours by selecting, should be resolved irrespective of operational hours option. If the request is not responded or resolved in the specified time, you can escalate the request to the next level of support reps or the managers. You can escalate the SLA violations with the help of email notifications. You can specify the actions to be carried out while performing the escalation. You can also choose to trigger the escalation email before or after the violation. There are four levels of escalations for resolution time and one level for the response time. Now save the SLA. You can even decide the order in which the SLA should be applied to the incoming request by organizing the SLA. Let's see how SLA will be applied for the email requests. Whenever a mail is received in Support Center Plus, the application will first apply the business rule conditions and then applies the SLA for the request. Now let's consider that the business rule is set as if the sender is from Acme.com, set the request to high priority. And assume the SLA is set as all the high priority requests should be responded in one hour and resolved within two hours. When a request is received from Acme.com, the application will check for the business rules and prioritize the request as high, based on the business rule. Once the request is set with high priority, it matches the criteria of the SLA, and the Dubai time is set according to the SLA with response time, as 1 hour and resolution time as 2 hours. Once the SLA is applied to the request, the due date and the response Dubai time information will be applied in the request details page. If the request is not resolved within the specified due date, then the request will be flagged in red on the request view to alert the support rep. Separate widgets are available in the dashboard to view the requests approaching SLA violations for resolution and response time. You can also view the KPI reports against the support reps. This ends the video tutorial. Thank you.